Arizona back at home this week to play Southern Utah, 8 o'clock Saturday night at Arizona Stadium. We'll go ahead and open up the questions. No one really expected you guys to be 0-2 at this point. Given that reality, how would you assess the mood and the attitude around the building? Well, it's, um, it's what we do, you know, and, and so um, every – Every situation is different. Every team is different, and um, um, and and you're right. Nobody expected that, and we don't expect that. So, what we can do is get better uh, every week, and that's our approach. And we start back on that today. Kevin, you, a couple times uh, after Couldn't the game see. against BYU, and then after the game against Houston, you talked about not getting maybe the amount of points that you should get for right. the number of plays you're running. And I'm just wondering what your expectations are in that area in terms of, okay, say if you run 100 plays, we should have this many points. Right. Well, you know, we, we talked a little bit after the game about, you know, 8 to 12 play drives and, and what comes out of that, points. Um, we've got to generate more explosive plays. And... Um, you know that's that's uh, the conversation we've had for the last 48 hours of explosives because we've got to get bigger chunks of yardage um, at certain times and we were unsuccessful the the first week with the ball going down the field a bunch um, but scored more points uh, we, we certainly have to be able to do that and and that comes to I mean that speaks to scheme and, and what we can do. Um, so um, those explosive plays uh, are a combination of things, but that's something that we're working on right now. When you're drawing up your weekly game plan, how much of an element is it to keep the quarterback healthy? Um, well, it was one that element this week. So, you know, we, we tried to, and I don't mean it, I mean, he was, that happened early in the game. And um, so the game plan kind of changed on the, on the fly as we talked about Saturday. Um, but I thought our running backs did a, a very nice job. You know, the mobility of Khalil, his strength, um, was kind of cut short early in the game. And, and um, uh, you know, so what we want to do, what we try to do is play to our, our players' strength as we get to learn this team. And, you know, you've, you've got a two-game resume right now of, of really who we are uh, and who can do what, what, what guys can do. And so, you know, when it comes to that, I, I think that, uh, you know, game plans change in, in, in the middle of the game, which happened last Saturday. And I thought, you know, the adjustments at halftime for our team to be able to kind of change what we're doing and run the ball effectively uh, was was a good uh, – w- w- I mean, we did what we needed to do at that point, but we've got to generate more explosive plays. Do you feel like you have a, a two-game resume on Khalil, or is it more like maybe one – It's, it's everybody. It's, it's, I mean, everybody wants to talk about – The implication is because he was injured for part of that game. Right. We haven't seen – Right. And, and, and that's, a, that's a good question. I, I think that uh, – We've got a pretty good resume on everybody on this team right now who's played. Um, and whether it's through uh, adversity, uh, on the road, at home, against different teams, I think we've got a pretty good feel where we are right now. In terms of Khalil, though, and, and his grasping of what you're trying to get him to do in the passing game, what's the immediate focus there on, on how you want him to well, the, the, the immediate focus is, uh, you know, the ability to communicate and, and which, he, which he did a great job of, Saturday, you know, which we're talking in between series about, you know, how you're feeling, what do you want to do, you know, can you do this, can you do that, and, and that communication is something that, uh, um, you know, is, is not easy. I think uh, he did a, a, a pretty good job of communicating with me and Noel about you know where he was during that football game and um, whether he could help the team or hurt the team by being out there. And I think um, the second half, you know, he, he showed that he was going to help the team by by 
fighting through this deal and 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 you know generating yardage and, and points and and things like that so you know it, it's uh the focus has been different the last couple of weeks because things happen during games and you know the ability to be able to to play to strengths is what we have to do and and uh, you know, I think as to your question, you know, we've we've learned a lot more about this team in the last two weeks. Do you think Khalil's going to be hampered at all because of the ankle? I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, it's a long time till Saturday. Um, so, you know, he was in this morning. So um, we'll see what happens. Did Johnny Manziel ever get hurt when you coached him? Yeah. Uh, no. Well, he missed one game, obviously. He missed a half. Kevin, in terms of how you want your offensive linemen to attack once they get to the second level, it seems like there's been several times where guys get to that second level, but they can't find anybody or there's, you know, nobody there. I mean, how do you teach that, you know? When you're going through, what's the first thing they need to be looking for in terms of who to block and where to block? <laughs> what, do you want me to give the game plan out? You know, uh, I thought uh, our offensive line last week in the second half um, did what we – I mean, yeah, you got four new guys, right? And um, some scholarships, some walk on, some uh, freshmen. And to your question is, yeah, that that's going to happen. Um, but I thought, you know, you, you, the the issue is to me, from a uh, protection standpoint, and playing against one of the better players in the country, um, and at Oliver, um, really, I, I I thought in interiorly, there was a, the game plan was was pretty good to be able to run the ball and to protect it. And so they're, you know, it, it's not what we want. Uh, we want to be better, but certainly from the first game to the second game, um, there was some improvement in our, in our offensive line. Um, and, and we're pretty effective in the second half to be able to do that. And, and so, you know, I, I think, as, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. I think getting Lath back this week will help us. Now we've got to make some changes. Um, Lath will probably go to he'll, he'll go to left tackle and move the Donovan to right tackle, um, which there's some growing pains there. You know the guy's been Donovan's a true freshman, has been playing left tackle, which is the hardest position to play as a true freshman against really good players. But moving him to right might take a little bit of pressure off of him. Uh, getting Lath back in there, um, and and sliding some guys around that, uh, and and adding some depth. You know, we had we had pro we had four of our offensive linemen play a hundred snaps Saturday, and and uh, you know that's that's a lot. We just don't have any depth there, um, and that takes a toll. You know, and and getting Lath back will will help us be able to move some people around, maybe create some. Um, rotation in 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 inside with guards and, and you know be able to do that but you know those those guys couldn't come off the field and uh um you know they didn't always do the right thing but in in i mean they they battled and they, you see that in the second half from 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 that whole offensive line and yeah do we want to be better yes they want to be better um but they understand what what their what their challenge is, and we understand what their challenge is. You just laid out this plan of moving Donovan over to right, which would mean Cody Creason would go to probably he'll, he'll go to left guard. He'll be a guard this week, which I think I mean he has done everything we've asked him to do at tackle, but he's probably better suited to be inside there, um, just to give us some some you know experience and and size inside um, what is it about donovan that has stood out to you guys and it's pretty unusual for a true freshman to you know, i know i know the circumstances were such that it's it's, it's more it's more of a circumstance 
Uh, I think it, that, uh, you know, you, you play with the cards you're dealt, right? And uh, that is, um, I think he's extremely talented. Um, and in and, and pass protection, he's been awesome. He's still learning, you know, what to do all the time. And, and you're, to your point about the second level, you know, things are, it's not like when you put up a card or, or, or have a uh, diagram, these, these guys are moving after the snap too. So, you know, it's been a real learning learning experience for him. And, you know, he's he's very athletic. He's a, a, a big man for 18 years old. And, you know, he's only going to get better. And I think the experience that he's had in the last two weeks um, has, has helped him. And so, you know, Athletically and size-wise, he's he's exactly what you're looking for um, when it comes to uh, an offensive lineman. When you talk about Khalil's communication ability, what more can you say about those sideline conversations, about what he's actually seeing and how he's going about communicating what he's diagnosing? Yeah, I, I think uh, you know it was it was about as where he was as, as a you know health-wise. Um, I think it's about where he was with what's going on on the field. Uh, I think the communication was 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 good with him. Um, you know, it, it's, it's like that, you know, there's, there's, you're going to get to points in, in time where, you know, things are going to happen. And so that, that communication with Khalil has been, has been great. Did you have a sense two weeks ago that there was going to be a lot of difficulty in these first two games? Um, I don't know if it was a sense. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, uh, you know, when you're in a, a new league and a, a new, a new team, uh, and I said this, what, two weeks ago? That you know you 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 really don't know until you get on the field with other 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 teams, and uh, you know and you guys asked me before the first game you know what what we thought and I just you know I said we'll learn we'll, we'll know more at midnight and we're learning more about this team and I think that um, you know there's been some what you've seen is two things that. Uh, we there's been some personal changes across the board. We've got three of our better players coming back. Hopefully this week, we've got uh, um, a, a lot of moving parts. But uh, the one thing that is encouraging to me is that when challenged, uh, these guys in the second half have not quit and have, have, have you know continue to play. And, and we played a lot of young guys last week, um, and we you know we're still not into conference play. So to me, you know, we're, we're finding out who, uh, who's who, and, uh, and we got to play through our strengths. Defensively, you guys haven't had a sack or a takeaway in That's the first two games. Um, what do you think is going on on that side of the ball, and how can you start generating those, those types of We've things? seen a lot of max protection um, because of our movement up front. I think that uh, – you know, it's a two-part problem right now. You know, we've we are not we haven't we've run a lot of plays offensively, um, and don't have a lot of points to show for that. Uh, we haven't. It's it's not just the sacks, but we haven't gotten a turnover either. So, um, you know that that can dictate a lot of different things. So, you know. Schematically, we've got to we've got to generate some more uh, negative yardage plays, and uh, you know that, that's that's just the bottom line. How has tackling so far for the first two games, just based on have they improved significantly, or how much further do you need to go in that sense? You mean from game one to game two? From like when you first saw them, your first impressions to now and then. Well, on it's a you know practice is different because you only have so many tackling days. Right, so um, I, you know it, it, it. That that could improve too. There's when when you've lost two games, right? There's a lot of things that got to improve, and um, you know it's not just that. It's it's across the board. Speaking of improvement, what has allowed Sean Poindexter to kind of make this jump that we've seen in the first two games offensively? Well, I don't know what what he did before. I just know he's a good player. And I said that during fall camp. And, um, you know, he's going to continue to improve. 
So did Kuhn ever take a hit during training camp? Uh, what kind of hit? Well, yeah, we don't. I mean, I've I've never had quarterbacks tackled. Getting back to the defense, do you plan to make any significant changes schematically or personnel-wise to try to change things up? Yes. Are you uh, are you hamstrung in that regard because a lot of guys were banged up on that side of the ball specifically? Oh, uh, we we we. You know, I think. It gets down to schematics now with, with our players that we know who we have and getting our, our players in the right position. And, and then, you know, the depth issue is one thing. But, you know, we, we've, we've got to, to your point, we've got to continue to try to uh, manufacture negative yardage plays on defense. We've got to manufacture explosive plays on offense. Coach, who were the other uh, – you referred to three, three of your better players coming back. I'm assuming that Leif was one. Who are the other two? Uh, Jace, who can really help us at corner. And um, we'll see where he is. I mean, health-wise, we'll see where Scotty Young is. Um, two players that have been uh, very, very successful <laughs> and, and with experience. So, you know, that if they can – if they're ready to go, they can help. And, and you know, Lath is back this week. He's he's healthy. Those other two have been um, have been hampered by some other things, but uh, we'll see where they are this week. How did you evaluate what you saw from Darius and Rhett? From who? Darius Smith and Rhett Rodriguez. Um, yeah, I, I just know him as Bam. So you know, he was back home, and and uh, he's one of the guys that we signed late. I mean, he's he's a good player, and we, you could you could tell that he's got good uh, change of direction. He he ran hard um, for a young guy. Um, might I hope he runs like that here instead of just being in Houston, where he's from. But uh, no, he, he's he's got a bright future. Um, and then Rhett, you know, obviously um, was he four for five, and he missed one on running left and and trying to throw it to that side and but uh he operated well and uh you know he, he's a guy that's uh is is very very capable of, of playing winning football we saw him in his first two passes he threw to the tight end and it doesn't seem like khalil is, is throwing as much to it's the a, tight that's end. all sch schematics it has nothing to do with those guys were in the game too you know what i mean so uh, bryce and and jamie um you know, to your point, you know, Jamie had, what, two catches, two. So, with Khalil. Do you stump for those guys to huh? some degree because you're coaching them? No, no. I just was letting them know, that, you know, that's just, they both had the same amount of catches from two different quarterbacks. Um, Derek Bowles and Demetrius running and fouls left the game and were unable to return. Are those long-term type of deals or? I'll know more today. Um, you got uh, Bam, uh, Day Day, um, Kenzie Barnes, other freshmen got a ton of playing time. What is the value in that for those guys? Uh, the, the value for this this team is, uh, and those guys did a nice job. I think um, just individually talking to them last week, uh, two weeks ago, first game, they were a little bit, a little bit overwhelmed. Um, and Day Day in particular, he said, you know, I wasn't ready. And then you get an injury, you get, you know, a guy come out of the game. Uh, those guys did a nice job um, in, in regards to special teams and in play. Uh, so the comfort level of them and the speed of the game, you know, in, until you're out there, you know, you think you know, but you – what's that, a Jim Moore deal, senior? You think you know, but you really don't know, right? So until you're out there, you don't know. And those guys, the young guys who hadn't played, I thought they did a nice job of growing from week one to week two. And it was evident. And we felt comfortable as they played in that game. Uh, they did some, some really nice things. And they're only going to get better. Time for one more question. You talked about how you know, the running game was better, but how did you evaluate the fail of the one-yard line offense? 
Yeah. Well, it's just, uh, you know, I think I answered that after the game. I mean, you, you watch it and uh, you get two guys that, that uh, just got, I mean, it was, it, 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 we ran the same play. It was kind of a point just to make sure that uh, our, our, our team understands it. And, and it's a point that, uh, um, you know, right or wrong, that's what we wanted to do. And hopefully it's a, a learning experience because things are going to happen down there. And, you know, when you, 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 when you need to get a yard, you need to get a yard and a half a yard. And so um, that didn't happen. And, you know, we, 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 that's where we've got to get better also. Quick follow on that, though. Just... They, we, they, they, it was a little bit of movement on the, on the defensive line and just – slanting, angling that we didn't pick up. How much in, in those situations would you consider going under center versus shotgunning out of those situations? Well, it's, uh, it depends on who you are. So, you know, that hasn't been a problem. Um, but uh, we, we're the team that we are right now. And, uh, you know, moving under center is not as easy as, as people – would say it is when you're catching 100 snaps from from the center. All right, everybody. Is it? All right. Thank you.